Set your project directory, click on the button, open up a folder called Joint Compensation, and click Open to set your directory. We're going to load an object, go to File, Load from the Objects folder, an object called Tube.lwo. Switch to a left view here. We'll zoom in, we'll change this tube, its draw mode, to flat shaded. We'll red lock both that and the camera, and change the camera's draw mode to N. Now while tube is highlighted, let's click into setup, go to the effects tab, go to bone deform, we'll add a bone deform. We'll just keep this one named skeleton. Use the plus key to add a bone. Move this one to the middle of the mesh, add a second bone. Now the idea behind joint compensation is that generally when Messiah's bones curve, they pinch off right at the junction. When we say compensation, we want to keep that curve as smooth as possible instead of pinching off as if it were made from rubber glove, most commonly called the rubber chicken effect. If we change the draw mode of the tube here to weight shaded, you can see how much influence the bone has over the mesh. Where it turns gray, it's sharing influence with the other bones. So we go back into setup and we cheat this in one direction. So that back in animate it has less influence here because it's farther away from the bone. We go back into setup, we'll add another bone to the end of this. We'll make it really small. And we're going to use what's called a muscle bone to pull these points out of the center here. So we select the first bone, click on the plus key to add that bone, uncheck Align Z to Parent, zero that bone out, we'll pitch it forward and aim this at our smaller bone. There's an option down here in the bones block called muscle bone. Check that to turn it on and select the target, which in this case is bone 3. That's that tiny bone there. So then we highlight this bone, click back into animate, you can see how much influence it has. As a matter of fact, when we click up here, it's pulling all of the mesh that it's on top of away from the joint. We go back into setup, we highlight this muscle bone, and we start altering slip. For example, change slip to 0.01, go back into animate, you'll see that it has lesser influence. You see the white has retreated towards the center of the bone. You can set it a bit higher, like 0.4, you can see that it's only pulling a little chunk. Just keep going up and you can see what slip is doing. 0.08. You can see that as it's bending, it's pulling parts of our mesh away from the bone and compensating for the pinch. Let's try this on a real world example. 